um, perception. So thinking and seeing clearly, um, definitely beautiful because that means you're you're opening up to something. Um, revision. This is definitely changing things about yourself. Maybe going at it in a different way than you did in the past. Okay. Renewal, which is beautiful. It's very much about um, having a sense of a fresh start for you. Okay. And then reaction. So maybe you're learning to react to difficult situations because that's what I feel with, with perception. There's a sense of you seeing things clearly, maybe open, um, maybe not so foggy. Uh, definitely a sense of um, seeing and thinking clearly, okay, from a place that maybe you've been foggy. At the bottom of the deck is ready but waiting. So it's funny because almost like the last card yesterday was the sense of expectation. So maybe you're waiting for something still. Okay, ready but waiting. And that's not a bad place to be because this is a sense of peace. Um, content. Um, not too troubled about where you are. And that's what I feel the cards are saying. Maybe you're learning to re react to something in a more positive way, which is allowing things to flow for you in a more natural kind of new beginning kind of a way. And balance. It's because you have balance. So definitely, I do feel like that is what's happening with you guys, okay? Now, if this isn't your energy, it could definitely be someone surrounding you. Um, you know, family member, loved one, um, something like that, okay? So welcome. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Mother's Day. Hope you guys are doing something happy for your moms. Let's see here. I think I'll take this one right here. Um, Spirit, I would like to know for May 10th, what does perception mean? What is perception? Perception, what does this mean? Five of Wands. Oh, that's definitely what I feel. You you are seeing some kind of conflict in a different way. Uh, maybe in the past you were blindfolded to something. You didn't quite put your finger on it. You didn't know what it was. But there is this feeling um, of seeing things clearly. Maybe from someone or a situation. If it isn't a person, it's from a situation that was somewhat troublesome. But you didn't quite see it before. And now it's almost like the light is on. And this is holding you back. Maybe you realize that it's been holding you back. So now there's a sense of something, new clarity coming in, um, a sense of passion, messages, hearing things, um, wanting to give a message, okay? Uh, and the King of Pentacles. So perhaps it is a King of Pentacles, um, a masculine energy that's somehow being grounded, maybe waking up, okay? What is the Five of Wands? What's the Five of Wands? Oh my goodness, so definitely Ace of Wands starting over. This is a new blessing, a new sense of um, starting over again, having some kind of passion be being brought back for you, um, seeing the light. There's a sense of, okay, I'm not going to take the BS anymore. I'm awake. I'm going to either give it back to you as far as not being like a doormat you know, it's almost, I, I almost feel like the Seven of Swords, not Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, where someone is like, you've banged me up enough, I'm going to beat you up now. Not not physically, but maybe mentally, you know, um, something like that. In other, in other words, getting their passion, their drive back is what I feel. What is the Ace of Wands? What's the Ace of Wands? It's this one. Um, seven of Cups. So new opportunities guys this is a new opportunity this is a chance to pick something that is healthier for you that is better for you that will help you to grow um this is also a sense of learning from your mistakes in the past of what now needs to needs to happen and there's almost a sense of having a door open of, to maybe things that you thought were closed off to you or maybe they were closed off to you and now in a sense they're open they're opening up for you okay seven of cups what does this mean it, it's you're seeing things differently see definitely the the high priestess is where you're wanting a new beginning um there is a sense here of somewhat learning something uh, maybe something's been exposed and that's definitely what perception is it's like you're seeing maybe from an, another 
you're seeing something in a different way that you didn't see it before. It's definitely what I feel here. The High Priestess, maybe this is a secret that's been revealed to you. Maybe a secret about a person or a situation that is making you see that, oh my God, either I got to take a new opportunity or this is my opening to make something happen. Um, take a different avenue. Um, it's almost like they say pass. It's like hall pass, pass. Um, this is your, your green light to, to go start something new. Whatever has happened here with the five of wands. Because you're seeing something clearly. Um, maybe it was a secret, guys. Or something that somehow you just sort of understand it. Where you couldn't quite understand it before. Because I feel it's almost like you couldn't put your finger on it with that five of wands. And the ace of wands but now it's like a light has gone on and you, you see it what is this high priestess is this a secret that has been exposed or a feeling or what is it um the nine of pentacles so you you were doing something but it, it's almost like you were putting all all your money into something but yet you weren't getting a return um it, it's almost as if there was a lack of success and it could be because there was a lot of conflict where you're leaving the very first card is the five of of wands so maybe you were leaving some kind of conflict here but it's almost as if you felt like when when it when is the success going to catch up like it just never caught up you just kept putting more into whatever it is that it was for you and somehow you realize oh my god there's no success there that's what I feel here. Um, if that makes sense, it's almost like you never get to the end of it. You never get to the end. So almost like a never ending story kind of a thing. Okay. Like you were never going to get out of it. What is the nine of pentacles? Nine of pentacles. What is the nine of pentacles, please? What is the nine of pentacles? Nine of pentacles. So three of, three of swords. Um, a third party situation. A broken heart. Um, I feel it's a third party situation. That's the first thing that came to mind. Um, a relationship that just went to hell. Um, just nothing good about it. Kept working, kept working, kept working. It's that cycle I see. Back and forth, back and forth. Um, heartbroken. Uh, let's see. What is the Three of Swords? Three of Swords. But there's a new beginning coming. And this person is deciding to take a new beginning. Um, yes, the strength card and the moon. Having strength and courage to face the things that haven't worked out for you. Um, I feel like the moon is where this person is somehow opening up to courage, seeing something, um, tired of getting beat up, okay? Um, perhaps learning not to listen to other people maybe living for other people there's a sense of a, a change here um really feeling emotion i feel it's passion um like heated passion like not not like abusive kind of kind of feeling but more like oh my god why have i been doing this like i want to move out of this because i'm tired of feeling like this it's that kind of feeling like um the moon i feel it's being able to take the messages that the high priestess has been telling this person of why are you doing the same thing over over and over and over and we're giving you messages to to leave this to choose to start over again you have enough lessons you've learned an, enough lessons here okay and and it's a sense it's like maybe now they're ready with the strength card they're ready to take on this change to perhaps allow emotion to perhaps get over pain, maybe a breakup, um, definitely is what I feel here. It, it definitely could be that this person is somewhat um, ready to move on from an unsuccessful relationship, something that has caused a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a lot of betrayal. Um, that's what I feel here. And perhaps maybe now they're feeling a sense of courage and strength within themselves to allow themselves to see what they have been blindfolded to. You see, 
they've been blindfolded and not really wanting to deal with it. That's what it is. They haven't been wanting to deal with it. They just sort of let it go, keep going, keep going. Um, and that's where this is perception. They're starting to see clearly now. See, and at the bottom of the deck is the four swords. They somehow called a truce. They're put an end to something. No more, okay? Um, and justice. So, oh, this is good. This is a karmic justice coming into play for this person or for you, okay? Revision. And that's beautiful because that means things are changing. Um, revision. So, seven of pentacles and a beautiful seven of pentacles and the three of wands. This is very much moving forward. Um, allowing things to change, allowing to make decisions to change, allowing for things to start growing for you. Um, very much finding loyalty. Uh, I feel like finding loyalty is a sense of what is making this person move forward, wanting a best friend, um, wanting something that can grow with them. Okay, maybe this is growing for themselves, maybe finding a passion to start growing and being somewhat. Um, what is that word? Um, they're saying, um, oh goodness, I can't say that word. I don't know. I can't think about it, but it, it's, it's like, um, prosperous, abundant, um, having fertility, being able to grow within themselves. Okay. Um, and so the three of wands is expanding. It, it's finding ways to, to move forward. And this is definitely expanding your horizon so new things can come in um this is where you take you know you leave the two of wands after planning and you start taking action with the three of wands but maybe there's a sense of waiting for this to grow um what is the three of wands you know maybe waiting a little bit uh they say waiting too much already so hermit new path they want to go on a new path and the knight of pentacles it's taken long enough. It's like they've taken long enough that now they want to move out of negativity and in a sense, stop going slow. Um, there's a sense of um, perhaps maybe starting over is what I feel down a new path, which becomes more stabilized. There's a sense of being more stable and perhaps giving you a stable offer um, some kind of long-term commitment, something that can grow. Uh, best friends, best friends, as they keep saying. Um, so maybe this is like a friendship turned into a love affair for you guys. I don't know. Maybe this person went off and um, had an affair or a relationship with someone else, okay? Um, and you see them as a soulmate, a best friend, kind of a soulmate, okay? But I feel that there's love there, definitely. Um, it just means also with the Knight of Pentacles, this person has got stronger. So three of cups at the bottom, maybe this is a reunion. That's what three of swords is, is a separation. Maybe you've been separated for somebody for some time. Um, the queen of swords, maybe this is the person that separated you. Maybe this is the person that's kept this person from you. Okay, but there's a sense of having some kind of truth, a sense of realizing, having a perception about who this person is and that maybe they create conflict okay and they they're just that type of person they create conflict they like drama um they don't like peace so what is this renewal what is renewal please renewal what does renewal mean please renewal it's the renewal okay so a new beginning with the magician starting to manifest starting to see things and there's that tower which is telling me quickly because when i was saying that they're going slow they've taken a long time they said it's like no i've taken too much time i've wasted too much time here they want to do something quickly something that was not on a stable foundation has fallen this person has lost their their crown this person lost their crown because they were letting other people control them listening to other people um, something like that, okay? It, it, yeah, that's what I feel. They were listening to other people, but not wanting to deal with it. And I think at this point, they're tired of being brokenhearted because it's never going to change. It's going to stay like that. So with the tower, it's almost like they want their, their crown back. That's where the perception and the revision is. They want to start over mentally being healthy, happy, joyful, um, 
that's definitely what they're saying there. And the magician is saying they're manifesting this. So maybe with the Three of Pentacles, it is about, I'm sorry, the Three of Wands, it is about moving forward. It is about expanding, but I felt like there's a little weight there. Um, perhaps to let it catch up with the magician, um, letting things happen naturally and letting things catch up to whatever you're trying to accomplish is what I feel. Um, what is the tower? What is ending quickly? Okay, so the sitting, um, it's like they're tired of waiting. I feel like they're tired of waiting to get out of whatever rut they've been in. And then this one, see, they want to give a message. They want to start over. They want to learn new. They want to, and really taking control of their life with the emperor. They want new. They want to communicate. What is the magician? What is the magician? I think this person has been in a rut for a long time. And it's like, no more. This is what they're saying today. Magician. Oh, four of wands. I feel they've been in a faulty relationship and that's what the tower is. I feel what the magician is very much what this card is saying. You could be in the wrong partnership. You could have devoted yourself to the wrong thing. Um, it could have been a marriage. It could have been a commitment. It, there's a sense of having to move out of this commitment in order to allow the magician to take effect as far as maybe divorce, maybe moving out, changing locations, changing homes um starting new something new here revision we're definitely starting something new okay ten of pentacles i feel like the ten of pentacles with the cards it, it's almost as if um something where they do want success and growth um you know they it's almost like they know they have a sense of where they can get the success and um feel happy uh, mutually happy, um, like re receptible, um, balanced is what they say, and the devil. So it, it's like they got to let go of the toxic relationship. Maybe it, 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 I, I didn't want to say that, but it's almost like they're forcing me to say it. Um, with the devil at the bottom, it's something that's it's done its course. The Ten of Pentacles, it's something that they've been at for a long time. This for this commitment, this partnership, whatever, it's it's had its it's run its course. Um it had success early on. Uh the rest of the years has just been somewhat um what is it? Uh cohabitating, they say, living together. Um living together, but really not having love, okay? So it, that, I think that that's why there's a sense of urgency because they haven't had passion. They haven't had love. They haven't had intimacy. Um, so I feel like this is why this person is somewhat wanting to move forward and start something new. Okay. What is, um, what is the reaction? What is reaction, please? Reaction. Ace of Cups. They're, they're learning to love. They're learning to have emotion. Um, I think with the moon, it, it's very much about being vulnerable. It, it's very much allowing those kind of warnings and those kind of emotions that you get when you meet somebody or you have somebody in your life that gives you love. So maybe this is a sense of allowing themselves to change, to offer new love, to give new love, to find new love. Okay. Um, take it as it resonates. Uh, I do feel this person is being vulnerable and allowing emotion to come in. Now, is this with somebody new? Because that could be new love. Ten of Pentacles. Someone they already know. Someone that they want to rush into the success. They all. It's almost like with the Ten of Pentacles, how it came out now. It, it, it's, it was at the bottom of the deck, but it came out. So it's almost as if... Um, I feel they know you. They want to rush in back to your home. Um, what is what is the, the Ten of Pentacles? What's the Ten of Pentacles? They said they know where the success is. They know where they can start over. Because a Ten is ending. And that's what the Four of Wands is as well. You end it. But you can start again. Um, but it's ending a failed relationship. So they can start in on the new one. That can bring success and love. And they want to rush into it. Okay. 
Um, I want to know what is the Knight of Swords? What's the Knight of Swords? This is a message. Look at that. They're feeling emotional. Love. Okay. What is the Ten of Pentacles? What is the Ten of Pentacles? Okay. Um, <laughs> they feel love. They feel passion. They want to start over again. Look at that. I'm telling you, it's like they've been in conflict and in their head just had too much going on with this Three of Swords energy. Um, that I think that this person is finally having emotion and feeling again, where they feel passion. They're, they're definitely with the Knight. King, King of Wands, I'm sorry, is very much this person that's come back to life to feeling passion, um, you know, love, wanting intimacy, um, maybe having self-love within themselves to drive them towards this new beginning, okay? Um, so they're reacting to love differently now is what I feel. So it gives them a sense of a new beginning. Um, is this somebody they know? Is this somebody they know is what I want to know. So the King of Swords. So I feel like that is a yes because it's a yes. Um, two of Swords in the world. They made a decision. Um, this is starting new. This is traveling. Uh, this is communicating. I definitely do feel they have seen, they made a choice because they have balance in their life. I do feel this is somebody you know. With the Ten of Pentacles, I felt and the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, it's someone you know. Um, there's truth in it. There's definitely truth. They're seeing things clearly. They're letting go of any kind of falsehoods. Um, if that's a word, that's it. anything that's false, it's like they're opened their eyes to it and it's brought balance. And there's definitely a sense of having honesty, okay? Um, maybe this is the new cycle for you and them because there's honesty now, okay? you got three kings. Um, I just don't think that you're deciding between, between three people. I feel this is this person that is trying to tell you how they feel, okay? Or how, what's happening to them. Definitely. Um, give me one more. Give me one more. Her reaction. They're allowing love in. I knew it. See, they're choosing love. I, you know, I definitely do feel they're choosing love. This definitely could be your twin, guys. And there's the star. So this is divine intervention, divine intervention guiding you to your twin. I, I definitely do feel that. Um, there's a sense of waking up to this. Wow. And then the five of cups. Sadness. Lonely. Um, really being drawn to you is what I feel. So I do feel they're coming back for you. Okay. Let's see here. How's this energy of today going to end? Who's this story? How, how's it going to end for, for this story? What's the conclusion of the story? There you go. Okay, Nine of Swords. That's good because in the deck, in this deck, it, it's very much, you know, fighting back that worry, fighting back that stress, taking control of your thoughts, having clear-headedness. Um, it, it's because they took their blinders off and they're not somewhat working at something that is false or a never-ending story okay what else can you tell me so they're fighting back here guys there's there's change there's spirituality there's intuition from a place where they just came from hurt and depression and maybe not seeing clearly having blindfolders on now they're starting to feel things and this is intuition this is knowledge coming in um so knowing okay and the Queen of Wands. You got the King of Wands here and the Queen of Wands. So is this your twin flame, your soulmate? I definitely do feel it is your your lover. For sure. So wow, I definitely do feel this is your person coming home for you. Okay. Um, give me one more. And there's that two of wands at the bottom coming together. Definitely as they said home, so coming home, okay. Um, maybe it feels like home with the Ten of Pentacles there as well. Give me one more as a conclusion, please. As a conclusion, give me one more. Yep, Ace of Swords. Truth. There's truth. It's almost like the truth set them free. They're able to cut through some BS with this truth. There's a sense of strength with this Ace of Swords. Um, almost like they can keep trying to put conflict in front of them 
but they're fighting back and and in a respectful kind of manner, not violent, um, you know, holding on for themselves is what I feel, where maybe they've been somewhat of a doormat for a long time to whoever this five of wands is. There's people there, you see, family, lovers, something like that, you know, it's even brothers and sisters, you never know. Um, so you've got to pick the situation for yourself. Let's see here. I would like to know, please. Um, what is their karmic cycle here? I definitely do feel your twins. What is your karmic cycle here, please? What is your what is their karmic cycle? How is it gonna end? How is it ending? How is it ending and what is it? So soulmates, you definitely do have those kind of connections here. You saw it with the queen and king king of wands, the the um lovers. So healthy choices, making better choices, a date, someone's going to talk to you. Also, talking, dating, um, starting over is what I feel. And for some of you, if it isn't a return of somebody, this is balancing out yourself so you can be receptible to the new love, okay? Maybe a new love that is a very passionate soulmate, okay? Um, that's what I feel. Let's see here. Uh, so stabbed in the back okay they were stabbed in the back that's what i got the three of swords and separation definitely they've been separated from you okay and at this time they are healing they're healing their heart they're working on things and this is definitely a, an awakening and to like um you know come back it's almost like the judgment card where they're having a second chance through spirituality they could be holding on right now. Maybe that's why there's a sense of a little pausing because they might have to wait for a divorce or get it across this person that they no longer want to be with them, if that makes sense, okay? Um, I want to know what is their karmic message of love for today. What is their karmic message of love for today, please? Karmic message of love. This one here. Change is always good. Yes, it is. And I feel this person is changing. They're trying to heal themselves and make better choices, too, I feel. Uh, okay. So let's see here. You have, there's a deeper reason for each of your questions. Seek it, okay? There's things that, now that they're paying attention to stuff, they took some blinders off. There's things that spirit is trying to tell them with the high priestess and the hierophant. And they've really got to listen to it. And it's it's called intuition. It's that gut feeling that they've been avoiding or having no feeling in it. Numb. Pain. Turn on your love light. See, that's definitely what I feel. They're, they need to do that. And forgive. They could need to forgive themselves for being so stuck in a trap. Or they could just need to forgive others. Okay? Um, prepare to be astound. And let's see what's at the bottom. Hubba hubba. So something interesting, something happy coming in for you. Okay. Um, let's see. What is the whispers of love today for them? What is the whispers of love for them today, please? Whispers of love. What can you tell them? What is this? Whispers of love. Okay. So let's see. Spend time, spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are significant we are in significant relationships with listening and talking to each other and that's not the kind of relationship they've been in okay it was almost one-sided okay embrace your emotions don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions and that's what's happening happening to them because for a long time they have had this sense of not seeing clearly okay and then this one right here, be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. And that's what they're at. But they have to start with themselves to receive this love. It's, it's almost in, in a sense where um, they've held themselves back from this love for some time. What is the Kwanian message for today? Kwanian message for today, please. Okay. So this one right here. And it says, dream your dreams. Trust that, trust the desires in your heart are placed there lovingly by the universe. You are meant to dream of what you dream. 
and I feel this person dreams for you. I, I don't know if you guys have been having those vivid dreams right now. It's because of the Scorpio full moon, but very vivid. And that's what this, I, maybe they were dreaming about each other. Maybe they're dreaming about you. You never know. So I'm going to end it here, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys for donating. I appreciate it. I really love and appreciate you guys. Have a blessed day and have a...